Hey everybody, welcome back. We, uh, I, f I filled up our Dead Eye Core by just eating <laughs> non stop. We've got this stranger over here nearby that we're gonna check out, and then we're gonna go talk to Hosea. Ain't been too many federals who is at the, uh, at the Gray Manor, I guess. Who are we looking for here? Oh, this guy. We got raiders. Got to be careful. We might have a throw down here. You okay there, Mister? You need me to move? move. No. <laughs> I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me. No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. Uh -huh. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, Mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature, or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my We've helped a few doctors in Still, our day. compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. <laughs> Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, no, I wouldn't do that. Were you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. All right. Okay. Thanks. McCombs in. I'm gonna take this path. This this reeks of Lemoyne. But we'll see. Looks like we're gonna have to cross the river here. Why don't we hit you up with one of these bad boys? I don't want to jinx anything, but we have not lost a horse yet. And we have had some major accidents, <laughs> all of which did not cause permanent damage. And I'm pretty shocked by that. I think in the first Red Dead, I must have lost, I don't know how many horses. A few of them. More than a few of them. Like when I say a few, I'm under cutting the real amount by a significant march. <laughs> he's getting he's getting pretty tuckered out here. Go again. The hell is this? Look, I'm just here to chat, maybe kill a few people. Not the 
best way to greet folks. Right in the face. looks like the wagon doctor renowned medicine company Get you back to the doctor. that's actually pretty well done yeah. I was expecting resistance but I thought you know maybe maybe there'd be a chat first Chucky you with us yeah okay we're good This thing does not seem stable. Let's roll like this for a minute. It's funny, we've been playing so much Red Dead, and in... Hold on. And in all of that time, all of the stuff that we've done, we, I think we're at like 41%. Now, admittedly, we've been, we've been pretty thorough in terms of doing side missions and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and they've all been pretty fun. They've all been enjoyable. I don't often get that feeling where I'm like, oh, this again? They keep it pretty varied. It's hard to drive this thing because all you see here, maybe if we do a little bit of this. Guess what? Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. You are correct. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you something for your pleasure. I love killing ah, things. What we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe. Yeah, now. will do. Bye now. All right. To Jose, a special health cure pamphlet. Beneficial for fortifying health. Ginseng yarrow, English mace, or milkweed. How to prepare. Two of each are a metal cup, boil over fire, place in a glass bottle with a stopper, administer as needed to boost health. More effective than store-bought Uncle Earl Bodine's brand. All right. Damn. Hey. Why is my horse out of whistling range? Was he not following us? I'm like 95% sure that he was. Do I have a stable nearby? There he is. All right. We had to come way back to get this, but... It was good. We killed some Lemoyne Raiders on the way. Go, go. Who were robbing a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get to Hosea. Yeah. Okay, we've made it. Where's Hosea? Is he inside? 
I think he's inside. All right. Pretty smooth talker. I'm interested to see how this went. Ah, oh, please come in, sir. <laughs> nice place. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur he remembers. Morgan. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, okay. he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. See, Saber, that's what we've been hearing. Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. We'll let him handle the business, I guess. But she does say they have money, which... We'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. This is the whole thing about this area, is that apparently these families have money, but some people say that they don't, and... Ready? Well, let's see what let's he says. Get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down <laughs> his throat and pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. <laughs> All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. <laughs> so far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. See, my worry is that she's trying to set us up at the same time as these guys. And get like a two for one. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. I don't know if he's got the same silver tongue as Hosea. But he is a chatterbox. Oh, People might give him what he wants. Do you not just getting stop talking. Grays, English. Excuse me. You not worried about them Grays? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. Yeah. Cool. You can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> here. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What do you want, boy? I've. I've. There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. 
At the saloon. A ting. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh. Uh oh. Hey, what's he doing? Uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to Oh, get he's going to ride in oh, with thank us. Thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Go to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Oh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually doing a pretty good job. Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> You don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Is he gonna take care of this guy? Uh, uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me nope, of them I am. big <laughs> houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because of some folks. Funny, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? <coughs> Sorry, Hamish. <sighs> okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. Wrong place, wrong time. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born at down manor houses. I'll burn quietly. Must have been quite the sight. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. Oh. So, they're gonna start asking questions. Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. 
You close the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Nice, he's moving the body and everything. Now what about this fella on the left? Might be able to cut between them. That's good. Oh, this guy's moving. actually working out pretty nicely with their routes. Got like half of it left. to get out of here. Is he going to take him? <laughs> I'm going to douse this too. Yeah, good call. Thanks you go, Arthur. Oh, hold on. I will. Hold on. Hold on. There's premium cigarettes here, man. Oh, there we go. Why can't I take these? I don't think we have... Nineteen of twenty. Oh, hold on. We do have a whole bunch of these things. This is very important <laughs> that we collect all of these. Come on. You must have something with a flame, right? Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Yeah! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here! On it. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Hey, who the hell are you running off at? I'm with you.
That'll do. Yeah, the payroll. All right, where is it? This way. Oh, man, pull it in. Oh, I shot him already. You're done for, best. I'm done. Oh, I wait, Scott. I wish I would have taken a different weapon. Come on, Sean. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right. Let's go. Not anymore. He's a decent shot. Straight out the main gate. Come on. You got you that right. That a party? <laughs> Not right There's Lent. Let's just get out of here first. <laughs> Not a bad job, Sean. I think we lost him. Not a bad job. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Sure. That was cool. Never burned down a tobacco field before. It's the first time for everything. Not bad. So they're going to assume it's the Braithwaite's. Anything that we do the Braithwaite's are going to assume it's Grace. And eventually they're going to figure out, well... They're not physically doing it themselves. 
got to be some survivors in these scenarios. Here we are. Home sweet home. Home! Not bad. Temporarily store one unbonded horse by hitching it in camp? Well, guess what, buddy? Okay. You're the new unbonded horse. Maybe. Can I not hitch here? Get that horse out of here. Relax. <laughs> Whatever. You can roam free, too. Hey, what's up? All right. Really need I'm you boys to get, get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. I imagine that we lost the. Yeah, we did. Sorry, got nothing for you right now. I think we lost the alligator carcass, but that wasn't a big deal. It was only a two-star. Okay, so Micah wants to talk, and uh, Trelawney wants to talk. Micah, oh, I just don't trust the guy at all. So we'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely talk to him next. I think uh, what we'll do for this evening is just get to bed. Solid eight hours never hurt anybody. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up here. When we come back, we'll talk to uh, Micah. And likely... Hate him. We'll hate every second of it. But to be fair, he usually does some exciting stuff. So we'll see. We'll see you guys tomorrow.